Hi, we are the duct tape artists team from Ohio. We have been working on a fine arts challenge. Our story is about an unknown creature who gets lost in a big city. And these are the things we have created for our solution. Our tournament is next weekend and we are having trouble making our drone fly. I talked to my mom after our last meeting and she told me how to make the drone fly. All we have to do. Hold on a minute, Dion. We can't use your mom's idea. That would be interference. Please don't tell us anymore. Oh, shoot. You're right, Amelia. Well, I need to stop working on the drone, so I don't accidentally tell you what my mom said. If it is okay with all of you, I'll finish painting the city scene. Hi. I am Johnny Wells, Director of Education for Destination Imagination. Amelia is exactly right. Parents, team managers, and anyone who is not a team member may not give the team ideas or make or fix props or costumes. Hey, thanks for coming to our meeting, Mr. Wells. I'm confused. Can our parents and team manager help us at all? Great question, Dion. Let's go sit in the next room and talk about interference. In answer to your question, Dion, let's talk about the things your team manager and parents can do to help you. Your team manager can teach you skills you want to learn. If you want to learn to use a skill saw, write code, or paint scenery, your team manager can teach you the skill or find someone who can teach you. However, the person teaching you the skills must not use any of the parts of your solution to teach you a skill. You must build everything in your solution yourselves. If you need materials for your project, you can make a list for your team manager and they can pick them up for you. Your team manager can teach you project management skills and help you track your ideas and tasks. And if you are having disagreements, your team manager can intervene and help you find ways to solve the issue. They can even tell you to work on something else and come back to the disagreement once everyone has calmed down. Your parents can help you as well, but they cannot give you ideas or build anything for you. Parents can teach you skills. If one of your moms is an engineer, she can work with your team manager and teach you about engineering. To avoid interference, the lesson should be completed at a team meeting with the team manager present. Remember, your parent cannot use any part of your solution to demonstrate or teach you a skill. Parents and other adults can help you pack and move your props from your work location to the tournament. They can help you move everything into the tournament location and help you get your props to the launch area at your presentation site. But you and your team members need to be able to move your props from the launch area to the presentation area without help, should they need to move. Your parents can help with cleanup at the end of meetings or after the tournament. They can volunteer to help at the local tournament. They can organize snacks and work on fundraising should your team attend their affiliate or global finals tournaments. Parents can also take turns coordinating instant challenges and the needed supplies for team meetings. This will give them the opportunity to work with your team without risking interference. If you all work together and follow the interference guidelines, you will create a challenge solution that was imagined, designed, and built entirely by your team and no one else. Good luck! I know you will figure out how to get your drone to fly. Have a great time at your tournament!